the kitchen today with Bobby just hanging out. And we're putting a Tasty Dean twist on some classic dishes. First, we're frying up some scrumptious pickled okra with a creamy chipotle dipping sauce. So pretty, and it tastes even prettier. Then coleslaw gets a sweet and tangy kick. Oh my gosh, that's so good, y'all. Lemony coleslaw with raisins. And later, it's Bobby's version of burgers and fries. Oh my God. A turkey black bean burger and thick cut like steak size fries. Sprinkled with Cajun seasoning. And you can't have a burger and fries without a milkshake. It's the best you have ever put in your mouth. <laughs> we are going to be just cooking up some great little appetizers, aren't we, Bobby? Uh -huh. And having fun. Just hanging out. And may I say, you look so handsome and so brown. You're spoken like a true my mother. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some pickled okra, y'all, yeah. that we're gonna deep fry, and we're serving them with a creamy chipotle dip. You know, we just love our fried okra, but we usually fry fresh okra. Right. But today, we are gonna fry some pickled, and I'm gonna I start- I love pickled okra. I do too, love. Bobby. They're so good. Well, I'm gonna start by using a fry mix, okay. and you can go on foodnetwork.com for the formula that I'm using. And you're gonna make a chipotle sauce. That's right. For us to dip our fried okra in, right, son? That's right. I'm gonna mm -hmm. mix a cup and a quarter of our fry mix, Bobby. Mm -hmm. And I've got a deep fryer heating up on 350, y'all. And I'm gonna measure out a cup of beer. You can use any kind of beer you like. And you go ahead and do what you do. Okay. I'm gonna and watch I'll and see what you do what with do. the leftovers of that beer is what you I'm gonna be watching have what you it. do. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna mix my beer. It's not quite cold, I'm so I won't I won't have it. <laughs> well, let's start the uh, creamy chipotle sauce. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use an eight ounce package of cream cheese. And you know, cream cheese is really hard, so you'll wanna let that sit out and sort of soften before you begin to do this so you don't have a really clumpy mess. So eight ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of mayo, I really like for my beer batter to sit on the counter for a few hours because that yeast from the beer has a chance to interact with the flour and it'll get thicker and just make your things really fluffy. Mm -hmm. And this canned chipotle, I'm gonna use one pepper out of here and just whatever clings to it is gonna go in. And I'm going to juice two limes. And that's it, there's really not, not much else to it. All right, because I don't have time for this to sit, I'm gonna add just a wee bit more fry mix to just thicken it up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Shouldn't take long. And we have drained our okra. That's gonna be good, Bobby. That was pretty easy. So what all do you have in there, son? Canned chipotle peppers. Uh -huh. And I used one pepper and just everything that was clinging to it when I pulled it out of the can. Oh my gosh. Because that stuff's pretty, kind of smoky. And you know, you can no. always, what you've always taught me is that you can always add some more, but you can never take yeah. it out. So yeah. if it's not smoky enough, we can add another pepper. All right, so I'm but just I'm gonna thinking... drop my okra down into my bat. Ooh, that's got a little heat to it, Bobby, very once good. it settles on the back very, of very your good. tongue. Very, good, very good. I'm going to uh, I'm going to bowl this up a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to get my okra covered. Now, if you want to use fresh okra, you certainly can. You don't have to use pickled. All right, there's that. Look how fast and how easy that was. Yes, I love it. Ooh, get to frying. And we're probably looking at two to three minutes fry time. All right, and now while Mama's doing that, I'm gonna make a really easy coleslaw. This is so simple that I'm gonna be starting out with a bag coleslaw. Okay, well this is one bag of the shredded cabbage for the coleslaw uh -huh. mix. Okay, and to this I'm gonna add uh, about a half cup of mayo. And I see that you've got some golden raisins, y'all. Right. And I love what those raisins do to coleslaw. They just give it a little bit of a, a sweet bite. And plus they're pretty, you know, people aren't expecting yeah, them, they're so they're pretty. just a little something extra. I'm gonna dice up some scallions, just kind of chop them kind of fine. These look yummy, Bobby. The scallions, I'm going for about a half, half a cup of those as well. I love the way these are looking, Bobby. These are gonna be so, so good. And about a half cup probably of these raisins too. Yeah. And last but not least, a little salt and pepper to taste. And this might end up being a 
Bobby, I Half think this teaspoon. is beautiful. And you can hear the, the sound of it. It's kind of stop sizzling. So I'm gonna just gently pull this out and let it drain. I think you need for me to zest your if lemon. If you don't, don't mind, that would, be, no, that would be great. Aren't you want me to zest the whole lemon, Please, Bobby? now that I got my hands kind of And we'll dirty. let this cool for a minute because that's gonna be hotter than uh, we can floor. imagine. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna zest the lemon and we're gonna use all that zest and then we're gonna squeeze the juice from it right into this coleslaw and mix it up. All right, Bobby Lou, I've got your zest. Please cut it in half and let's juice it. Let's use that whole lemon. Oh boy, this is gonna be tart. It's gonna be very lemony. Now this is gonna get a little bit more mayonnaise-y as it sits, y'all, mm -hmm. because we did go ahead and salt it and that salt's gonna pull the water out of the cabbage. Mm -hmm. I love a good coleslaw. It immediately makes me think of hot dogs because when we were growing up- I was up, gonna suck. You would make the best coleslaw and we would have slaw dogs. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, and chili dogs. I love me a slaw dog, y'all. And in fact, yeah. you and I are gonna be doing really nice turkey burger that I think you're gonna like and this is gonna make it all that much better. Well, I'm right gonna on load our okra up, Bobby, on our platter. Look how delicious and this does And I sure do wanna try look. it. Mm-mm-mm. Now, I'm just gonna garnish our okra with some chopped green onions. But first, I gotta try that coleslaw. Probably put a little bit of that coleslaw on my burger. Well, I got mm. you a fork, but um, I don't reckon you need it. Oh my gosh, that's so good, y'all. Is it good? Mm-hmm, real lemony. Mmm, <laughs> that's Isn't so that good. yummy? Mm-hmm, I've right. never heard anything. Well, this is our little appetizer, Bobby. Mm-hmm. So. So simple and so mm -hmm. quick. Looks so pretty. Mmm. Oh, man. And it tastes even prettier. Oh, man. That's great. Yum. That is great. Isn't that great? Stick around for the turkey burger. You're going to love it. Coming up next, we're cooking up a sinfully good combo. Guilty. Turkey black bean burgers served with thick-cut cheater fries. And finally, a divine chocolate malted milkshake. It tastes just like a liquid malted milk ball. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. All right, welcome back, y'all. I promised you a delicious, lean turkey black bean burger with corny salsa, and that's what we're going to make right now. So if you will, Mom, we've got one can of black beans open right here and, okay. and drained. If you'd give me about half of them. Okay, Dad. And I'm gonna mash these beans up because I'm gonna incorporate okay. them with my ground turkey. Okay, what are we gonna do with the rest of them, son? We are gonna make a, a delicious corny salsa. See, you got two okay. tomatoes already cut. We've got four total, okay. so if you'll cut all these tomatoes. And the whole onion, son, you want me to? Yes, that whole red onion. It's okay. gonna be a, a beautiful salsa. And now what makes this salsa corny is you see that one cup of uh, kernel yes. corn over there. Yes. And what's gonna make it spicy is the little bit of jalapenos right off to the side. I got my black beans mashed up pretty well there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a pound and a quarter of turkey, fresh ground turkey to that. And in lieu of like a breadcrumb or anything like that, what we're gonna use is uh, chips. And I'm just gonna mash them up. It's gonna be about a cup of corn chips once I get them all mashed up. Huh. I'm gonna break these things up and I'm gonna add them to this and it's gonna really bind that meat and the, and the beans together. Okay. There are our chips crushed up. And I'm gonna take a, uh, about a tablespoon of chili powder. Okey and about a tablespoon of cumin, ground cumin. Oh, they're gonna be. Less. They're gonna be flavorful as well. They're, they're gonna be like. very flavorful, yes. Little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And now, I'm just gonna fold all this together. Wow, these are gonna be so, so good. All right, Bobby, one onion. All right. And the juice of a lime, right. or do I zest it, or just No, just the use the juice of it. Okey doke. Wonderful purple onion or and this red is, onion. You know, we made the coleslaw earlier and we were talking about how good coleslaw would be on, yes. on practically anything. So I'm planning on making a few burgers and I'm gonna put coleslaw on some and I'm gonna put that sauce on some. And oh, we'll great. compare them and see how 
what we like best. Okay, All right, you getting here close? we go. You I'm just getting got very it? close, son. Now don't forget to add your corn. Okay. And that's going to be one cup of, of and uh, corn like niblets. And the jalapeno. Probably about a tablespoon. All right. To the thing there. And I'm going to add my lime juice. There you go. You're coming along. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. We're hot up here. Our the turkey's hot. The turkey is really, really lean. It's not going to produce much fat. So I'm going to put some olive oil right okay. here. Okay. Do you want me to spray it too? Might if I just cover it in olive okay. oil. Okay. We'll cover it in olive oil, son. Yeah. All right. I think I can get three or four burgers out of this. So in think? with my corn. Yeah, in with your corn. And with the jalapenos. And just kind of mix it all up. Okay. So on with the first burger. Oh, our salsa looks wonderful, Bobby. It'll be great on that burger or with some chips. Yum. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Need a bigger spoon. <laughs> no, no, I'm doing all right. Okie doke. Yeah. That's going to be mine. Got... That's going to be yours. <laughs> so, how much cilantro? Just... I don't know. Just, uh, you know, maybe a, just a little handful. Just enough to... Cilantro, okay. to me, is really strong, so I don't want too much of it. But Okay. Maybe a teaspoon? I'm thinking I'm going to get four burgers here, just in case... Okay. Jamie and Brooke show up or... Ooh. I like the way that this is pattied up. You know, sometimes burgers can be a pain in the neck. Those but look these are delicious. really, really simple, and they do look good. They look really good. All right. So that kind of gets our cilantro. And I had washed this, so it's nice and clean and grit-free. Bobby, those sure do smell, smell good. delicious. Took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to make in the summertime, y'all, when those wonderful tomatoes come in. That's the best time of year to make salsas. These burgers look so great. That salsa is going to be perfect on top of them. Mm -hmm. Y'all hang around for a few minutes because you're going to see some delicious, thick-cut, like, steak-sized fries and a chocolate malt that will knock your socks off. Coming up next, we've got the ultimate side dish, cheater fries. Jealousy. And later, it's a yummy childhood favorite. We. Oui. It's been a long time since I've had one of these. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. All right, y'all. Hey, welcome back. You know, I'm really excited and wide awake right now because we're getting ready. That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. I mean, a potato always catches my interest, Bobby. I love potatoes. These are cheaters fries. And the reason they call them cheaters is because they use a frozen potato. You could get these frozen, you know, an unseasoned potato log and do this uh -huh. very same thing. But it's not very difficult to take a, a regular whole size potato and cut it up into these logs. These are russet potatoes uh -huh. and these have been blanched already once. So uh -huh. they are partially uh -huh. cooked, but they're, they're still stiff. You probably parboiled them six or seven minutes. You probably don't want to... You don't want to overcook them, y'all, because you don't want them to fall apart when we go to put them on our grill. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to coat them in a little bit of olive okay. oil. Okay. Now, you and I, <laughs> I know where I got my love of potatoes from. I know it came from you because you are guilty potato queen. <laughs> so, pat those down a little bit. Okay. And we're going to take them and, and, and drag them just... through this. There you go. We're, I'm just okay. going to. Okay. You're just going to toss them in I'm just going to sort of toss them in this oil a little bit to okay. get them coated. And I love our little bowl. You've got parchment paper. You know what? Everywhere I go and get fries and they serve them in a bowl with parchment paper, I think it's a really neat look and it's a it's a, uh, yeah. it's a good way to make something simple look yeah. so simple. So we're going to just coat these a little right, bit. So there you go. We're going to coat them a little bit and put our them on the grill. turkey burgers look good. They do look good and we're almost there. They look there. real good. I'm going to ask you to help me with these fries a little bit. I got okay. olive oil on my hands. You're going to season them? Well, we are, but we're going to do that after we after we put them on the grill. Okay. So what I want you to do is watch these for me. And okay. these things are about the size and shape of a dill pickle. Yeah. I like a, a potato log like this with maybe with sour cream or with uh -huh. just some good salt or some sort of good seasoning on them. Okie doke. And I'm kind of getting into some Cajun seasoning. I've been eating a lot of Cajun stuff. So I've got a Cajun uh, spice here that we're oh, going to put good. on these fries when they come out. We're going to put them right in this bowl and serve them. 
in papalote, sort of. You know what I'm saying? Yes. What we want to do is get some nice grill marks on yes. these. I'm going to turn him on his side. It'll probably take about 15 minutes yeah. for our potatoes to get ready. And we'll just keep ready. an eye on I'm afraid of these getting a little too dark on one side while we're down there, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll them one side. You can see the grill marks starting to get on them, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure can. Sounds like they're crying, too. You hear them? Does kind of sound like they're crying. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put together some burgers. I'd be crying, too, if I was in a room with Paula Dean. Because yeah, you, you know were, they're going to get eaten. If you were a food, you would be. All right, so we're going to put a little avocado on our burger, right? Yeah, that's right. I love uh, guacamole and, and fresh avocado. I do, too. And I'm going to slice it this way, Bobby. Nice and thin. There, that, that'll that fit on the bun. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop a burger on our buns here. Okie doke. Avocado on there. Okay. Do you want any mayonnaise on your son? Well, I mean, I am your son. Okay. <laughs> Good right, enough. I've got, I've got coleslaw on one. Okay. And here comes the corny salsa on the other. I don't know mm. how we, we kept cheese off of this menu. I know it. All right. Oh, that Stack that up, and I'm going to slice them in half. These okay. look great. They do look wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna give half and yeah, half, okay? Exactly. Half and half. Because mm, I want some of each. And I'm gonna go back and check the fries. They sure do smell good. They smell yummy. All right, Cajun season. What you think? Mmm, smells good. That smell good. They're gonna give a little kick to go along with the rest of our meal. Yum, you missed one, son, right there. And now I'm gonna just Toss it with a little salt because to me a potato just has to have a little salt. All right, and they are ready for sure. So I'm going to go yes. ahead and start to put them into our bowl okay. here with the parchment paper. It's such a neat presentation to put fries uh -huh. in parchment paper. Move some of these off to yummy. the side. Yeah. Because I think they're all ready. Great. That looks great. Look at those. yes. Look how delicious. Yes. Now, if you're cooking mm -hmm. out, out of doors, y'all. Jealousy. <laughs> if you're <laughs> cooking out of doors, if you've got all your friends coming over, you could do these on the grill, and oh, they would sure. be wonderful. For sure. Now, I eat mayonnaise with my French fries. I know where I got that from, too. Uh, because I just like it. I do, so, too. <laughs> <laughs> there's your fork, son. Mm -hmm. And help yourself to... Couple of potatoes. Yum. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, those potatoes are very, very good. Mm. Oh my gosh, those potatoes are so good, y'all. All right. All right, so which one we gonna sample first, son? First, I'm gonna try the one with the salt. Okay, good. You got the slaw and I got the salsa. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Love, love, love the cold style. And it's very good. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Coming up next, we've got the most heavenly chocolate milkshake. Oh, that's great. Mm. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, we were talking about the burgers and fries, and nothing goes better with burgers and fries than a chocolate malt. Do I smell ice cream? Tell me what flavor you smell. <laughs> chocolate. Get over here and help me with this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got a couple of pints of it, too. Mama, I think I'm going to end up using just about a pint of ice cream here. Okay. For two malts. All right, Bobby, I'm gonna measure out our malt because we're not making a regular milkshake. Mm -hmm. Now you can buy this malt powder at your grocery store. I put about a half a cup. And I'm gonna pour us a little milk. And I like mostly ice cream. Yeah. 
So let's see what happens. There we go. It's going good now. And I think that's just the amount of... Yeah, it looks perfect. Yeah. Aren't you ready, son? I think so. Is that, is that thin enough for you? Yeah, I think it's perfect. Yes. Mmm. Oh, that's great. I enjoyed hanging out with you today. Oh my gosh, son. Cheers. It tastes just like a liquid malted milk ball. You know, mm. if you hadn't had one in years, treat yourself to an old-fashioned mm. flavor. Delicious. I had so much fun. I did too. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.